Thank you, Honorable Daniels. Your prayer certainly prepares our minds to have this meeting and help us to speak properly to each other with respect. So, on the agenda, we have introductions. We'll start with the Honorable Members of RDC, Honorable Stewart. Oh, good morning, Chairman. This morning online, I don't want to get on this morning on the way out a J.O. Wilson, C. Stewart Jr. A. and Shadow, Telator, and Nasha. I don't quit so many A. and Shadow, none of the edited machine, a bus machine, the machine that should shade up between the Shanella. And I represent the 40 clients agency on the Resource Development Committee of the 24th Navajo Nation Council. I don't that I represent Sawmill, Red Lake, Crystal, and Port. Defiance within my four chapters of District 18. Thank you. I thought he had for the prayer this morning. I thought. Thank you, Honorable Stewart. Honorable Daniels. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I have for the. I don't just the honor. I'm here to meet the honor. I don't know if she's safe. It is the other day, caught on the honor. I don't know if she's safe. She's safe. She's safe. Herman Daniels, Jr. Ado, I don't know, and she then gave it on me. Kilchini, that's a jay. As she got so, eh, that's a nuller. Toy yet, Lini, not hide a net, we that's a tree. What I then and she left on a ray dam. Seven to sky hold yet, old jay, told at the hold yet. I don't know, you see, Nasha. I don't know, not for all, but Nash, and she gave a ya, not as on. Old jay to, shan't to, aren't that sappy, can a banash. What I could do, can he did need or let's leave in a bit. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Daniels. My name is Rick Nez. Rick Nez, a Nishia, a one son and shla, a Zay Tachini, Bashish Chain, son of a bit in the Shichado, Kian Ani, the Shinala Hot Eye, the Nenshla. I represent six chapters Hogback, San Juan, and Anizad, Upper Frulan, Burnham, and Newcomb. Welcome, everybody. We'll go around the table this way and int have introductions for, for everybody. Good morning, everybody. My name is Peggy Nakai. I'm the legislative advisor today for Resources and Development Committee. Ordinarily, my assignment is with the Budget and Finance Committee. Uh, Rodney Tahi is absent today, so I'm taking his place and I'll be helping Heather. Heather and I and Chair will be coordinating our work today. The best is an inch. That's why I'm just changing. What did you need to change? Oh, what did you need to change? I'm from Manuelito chapter. So, good morning, Yat Abena. Good morning, everybody. My name is Heather Schmink. I'm the legislative assistant with the RDC committee. Um, I work in Windrock. Yes, it's in it. Honorable members, she a it's in it. I'm by the excuse. 
I work as the uh, senior legal secretary with Office of Legislative Services, and I'm here to the RDC. That's a day Warren Roney and the couple of she's changed what it's you Another. I am on that carpet manager of the speculatory complaint. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Jeremy Vigas. I am a uh, Hermit project Yet a Vinish, a shall be Daisy in a shed, touching 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 in a shed, um, Aya Elisa Arbiso, Senior Hydrologist with Navajo Superfund. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chairman. Delegate Freedom's on the call.
Good morning, uh, Chairman Kelly. Good morning, everybody on the Zoom call. Uh, we were doing introductions in the room. And so um, I don't know if you could hear us. Can someone respond back that's on the call to let us know that you could hear us? Good morning, Peggy. This is Melinda. Hi, this is um, we we're not able to hear um, the introductions. Hi, this is Bailey McDonald, and we, I couldn't hear the introduction either. We're trying to test the sound in the room to see if we can hear any Zoom, uh, all, all of you that are on, on the call, so. We're gonna go ahead and start now with um, allowing the uh, remainder of the people that are in the room to introduce themselves. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And then once you hear Chair Nez, then we'll start the meeting. Thank you. Chairman Chap, today I did. I did. So I start. Yeah, I'm still here. 
Sitters gives me this love. Get the tune every time that they uh, just change. Thank you. Thank you. Karo, Nihijantara Hasal Sinigi. Um, the room can only hold 30 people according to the guidelines here. We have reached 30 people. So we have one of our colleagues coming. When our colleague comes, I would like to ask somebody to leave the room to excuse themselves. I would appreciate that. Everybody that's on the call, um, we'll go ahead and introduce our colleagues first. Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Honorable Freeland. Chairman. Chairman, this is Thomas Walker. Yeah, there. Morning, uh, committee members, though, the chair, though, uh, the staff, um, Ms. Ms. Springer, and then Shadado, Ms. Nakai, yeah, there. So, uh, Uh, Honorable Daniels, okay, okay. So, Daniels, and again, um, Thomas Walker, a addition to the other, or she based by her net, they be nature has sent all this teacher. I do, um, a penitent, I do the text of this, a good snake to snow, yeah. I do, um, yeah. Um, Shaho, I gave a don't mention the gay ishing hints being patrol in the bus chain. What's on this chain? I did say this kid in the shinale. I could echo a door, Panashado, Panash, Michigi, Tarsinella, if I do so a loop the Tolani Lake City to Cameron or Coleman Canyon. A could echo a quiet Michel Aquaja. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Honorable Freeland. Chairman, good morning. Uh, oh. uh, staff, good morning. Uh, Mark Freeland, and Shiro, I don't know if you could tell me a snow rock here on the Apex chain. Sandra Kennedy, I should say, I don't know if you have a chance to get 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 a to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get Thank you, Honorable Freeland. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Uh, uh, Chairman, uh, good morning. Adol, RDC member, and everyone in the uh, room, and also uh, all of those on the call. Good morning, Chair. 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 Thank you very much, Honorable Gay. We also have on the call with us our colleague, our brother, Honorable Paul Begay. Good morning, uh, Honorable Chair. Uh, Breaking as other vice chairs and other honorable delegate Thomas Walker and members of uh, Resource and Development Committee, all the staff and uh, support group there, and arrows and all those are calling in. Uh do say yes it's delegate Paul Begay, Western Navajo. 
naho kosto e a naho naho al ahade ade nat apanasha the chi e compromise but we get on the via aro kaibeto e slago e bikin shi aro tadesh kin the net in slido big between e bashis chin aro da tore chin da shi ki an e shi nal da e go e the nan slido nat apanasha ko I hear that. Oh, uh, thank you also to my brother, Honorable Delegate Herman Daniels, for the very uh, heartwarming prayer. Thank you, uh, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Begay. We do have our attorney on the call with us, Ms. Mariana Kahn. Good morning. Mr. Chair, yeah, air um, uh, resources and development committee members, ado yad to those who are going to be presenting information today to RDC and to those who are listening to today's discussion. Very, very wonderful. She a Mariana Khan, the Shijine, Dona and the Shinigi, a toy here, gleaning, Nishne, but Ani Bashish Chin, last year, Dashi Che, Tenja Kenna, Dasha Nala, Akud Awa, son, Nishne. Good morning to one and all. And Mr. Chair, I will go on mute now. Thank you, Ms. Khan. We also have from Speaker's Office. Good morning, uh, Chairman. Can you hold me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning. Yat ehi bene. Shae Melinda Arviso Siako Yenche. Tsetna jinin shlong ki ani bashishchin. Tuli jini dashichero dashichini dashinala. Legislative Staff Assistant for the Office of the Speaker here in Wind Rock, Arizona. And thank you for having us on the call. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Siako. We also have on the call with us, New Mexico State Representative, Honorable Anthony Allison. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Yad e benesik e shi tiye zine. She Anthony Allison in shi. Yo toje ha wa tsoi a yai ho wanji aji ya nashu. And I represent the chapters of the Klabato, Gari Ai, Shiprock, Tzera Khan, Red Valley, um, and Upper Fruitland, and then with the redistricting, I picked up San Juan, Ninanazad, and Burnham chapters. Also representing the communities of Waterflow, Fruitland, Kirtland, and Northern Farmington. I'm glad to be on this call. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Allison. We also have from the Office of the President, Vice President, Mr. Davis Filfred. Good morning, Chair and members of Resource and Development Committee and everybody that's in attendance. Davis Silver from Office of the President, Vice President, Executive Staff Assistant. I'll be listening and have a good day. Thank you. Also from the Office of the President, Vice President, Teresita Klashen. Teresita Klashen. Okay, we'll go to BIA, Ms. Angela Arviso. Good morning, and Yat Epine, Chairman Nez, delegates, and all staff in attendance. Angela Arviso, the Deputy Regional Director for Trust Services, Navajo Region. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Arviso. Also from BIA, Ms. Cheryl Curley. Yeah, Dave Bennett, Chairman Nez, RDC members, uh, good morning. Thank you. So, uh, Cheryl Curley, BIA Tribal Operations Specialist, Tribal Liaison. Yeah. Thank you. We also have with us from Cyprus Amex, Liddell Davies.
Ehehe, Arnoldsko, Aron Hitkonathonigi. I believe we could just go down the list here. We do have with us Elisa from the Navajo Superfund. Okay. We, Jeremy. Okay. Well, well, we'll go ahead and get started. We have from Shiprock, New Mexico, Chapter CSC, Michelle Peterson. None. We'll go ahead and get started here. We're on number three of the agenda, presentations and discussions. Number two, let me go back. All of us here today, we're gonna to have a discussion on the remediation of abandoned uranium mines on the great Navajo Nation. Presentations and discussions the first presenter will be by Cypress Amax Minerals Company and their efforts to remediate 94 abandoned uranium mines on the Navajo Nation post and pre-pandemic and the current status. We'll start with Lydell Davis and staff. Sir, could you introduce yourself for the folks on the call? That way they know who's speaking. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chairman Nez and Vice Chair, members of the RTC. My name is Bryce Romick. I am the Director of Remediation for Freeport Minerals Corporation, representing Cypress Amex and Western Neutral. And Thank you, Chair. And, and Western Nuclear, excuse me, and um, and today we're pleased to present to you information related to Cypress AMAX and Western Nuclear's involvement in the development of remediation activities for 94 uranium mine sites here on the Navajo Nation. We, we thought we'd start with a quick agenda just to, to tee up the the presentation materials today and, and make introductions. Along with that, we'd like to talk about what has been done and accomplished in the preceding years of activity undertaken by Cypress AMAX, as well as to talk a little bit about where we are now and what our plans are for 2022 and 2023. We also think it probably very important to talk about the consent decree upon which we're uh, bound to perform and to conduct this work. Finally, we'd like to talk about social programs and benefits to the Navajo Nation. We'd like to make sure that any questions that might come up, we're happy to answer as we progress. And we welcome those from the RDC. A little introduction about the team members that, that are present. As I mentioned, I've introduced myself. I'm a 27 year veteran of the company and I've uh, been involved in environmental management and environmental activities for, for many years with the company, 27 years now. The remediation activity I took over uh, at the Freeport Minerals Corporation headquarters in Phoenix about four years ago. With me today is Jennifer Lagan. Jennifer is an experienced hydrogeologist with more than 25 years of experience in environmental investigations throughout the Rocky Mountains in the Southwest. She's been working with Cypress AMAX and, and Western Nuclear now for 12 years. First as a consulting hydro hydrogeologist and now project manager, project coordinator in implementing the terms of the 
consent decree. Also with me is Mr. Peter Danette College Jr. Peter is a, an exceptional resource employee of the company now since 2008 with various roles as manager in environmental activities. He has 30 years of mining operation experience as well as environmental managerial expertise and serves currently as the Freeport liaison to several tribes, including Navajo and engagements with First Nations. First Nations. Liddell Davies has been with our organization for nearly 10 years as a community outreach coordinator. She's been working with chapters for seven years with respect to access agreements, providing regular updates and notifying committees of our upcoming field work. She is also helping to coordinate our community grants offered uh, through the chapters on a routine and annual basis. We also have George Arthur with us. He's been a Navajo translator for the past several years and assists us with the interpretation of CERCLA and Superfund in Navajo, as well as with other scientific information to the communities. We'd like to talk a little bit about the priorities that Cypress and AMAX undertakes here. And maybe first and foremost is a, is a message that we are here and we have been here and we are ready to go. We've been working in building our programs on the assessments and cleanups at the mine sites now for nearly a decade. And during that time, we've gotten a lot done. This presentation will provide some information on that and in, in latter, latter portions of this discussion. I will mention too that we don't have a lot of control over the schedule. As our actions are subject to approvals by both US EPA and Navajo EPA. We are committed to the cleanup strategy that, that includes and is, is allowing of human health and protective of human health and the environment in line with circular requirements and certainly inclusive of traditional Navajo beliefs. We've been at the forefront of community engagement through our programs on Navajo. Our community liaisons are engaged on a monthly basis now for over seven years with each of the 12 chapters that, that we touch. We've listened to their current concerns and allowed for voices to be heard. And all this, all, although this activity was certainly curtailed by COVID and the pandemic, we do look forward to get back, getting back in the field and doing so safely. We're also vested in, in the employment opportunities that exist on the nation with respect to this work. As part of the consent decree that was signed in 2019, Cypress AMAX did sign a memorandum of, of agreement with the Navajo Nation to address employment issues of particular important, importance to the nation. And we look forward to telling you about that in this presentation. We are deep in our understanding of the environmental commitments at the mine site, and that will only grow as the work continues. As we begin to discuss cleanup actions, we strive to achieve a balance in the approaches that will be set forth. There are protective cleanup solutions that are based in science that are also cost effective for the Navajo Nation. Many of us have seen this map. It's the spatial extent of the mine sites. It's highlighted, however, with those sites that Cypress AMAX and Western Nuclear are involved with. The sites are primarily located in the northern, north central, and central AUM regions, abandoned, abandoned uranium mine regions, with the exception of two Western Nuclear sites, the Ruby Mine sites in the eastern region. There are 12 chapters, either directly or indirectly connected to the mine sites. Approximately 75% of the mine sites are located on three chapters. The Tis Naspas, Sweetwater, and Red Valley 
chapters. And for those, we also provide outreach to the neighboring chapters. There are six mine sites in the Ojeto, Ojeto and Denahotso area, including the largest mine site, the Monument Number Two site, and nine mine sites located in Cove. With that, if there's no, no specific questions, I'd like to hand this over to Jen Lagan, uh, who will talk about the specifics of activities on the sites. Thank you. Cypress Max Minerals Company, so any comments or questions? None. Mr. Chair. Um, yes, who is that? Chairman Kellett. Honorable Begay, you have the floor. Uh, Chairman, I believe uh, Vice Chair uh, Whitford. Honorable Begay. Uh, Chairman, uh, uh, just go ahead and go. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, hey, at uh, the central part, the key of the Navajo Nation, uh, any uh, update report on it within their company, key, the Kwabinai, the chairman. Thank you. Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Honorable Vice Chair Walker. This presentation has 34 slides. We're on number five. Mr. Chair, Ness. Honorable members of RDC, any other comments, questions? Then we'll go ahead and continue. Jen? Yes. Um, Mr. Elson, what is your question? Uh, yes, I want to know how many entities are working on this because um, with the New Mexico Indian Affairs Department, we've had uh, at least three presentations that was given to us before the Indian Affairs Committee. And this is the first that I'm hearing of Cypress Amex. I just want to know how many entities are involved in this cleanup. Um, Representative Allison, a PowerPoint presentation will be sent to you. And you could see the map yourself. My question, Chair, is how many entities, in addition to Cypress Amex, are going to be doing the cleanup? Because this is the first I've heard of Cypress Amex. And the other presentations we heard before our Indian Affairs Committee were different entities. Your response, Cypress Amex? Uh, yes, sir. So I'll have a slide a little bit later that explains the relationship of Cypress Amex and the 94 mine sites that we are responsible for in relation to the identified 524 mine sites that have been identified on the Navajo Nation. So this presentation is just talking tor towards the 94 mine sites that Cypress Amex and Western Nuclear have responsible, responsibility for under the 2017 consent decree that was signed between 
uh, our entities and the US EPA and the Navajo Nation. Thank you for the response. And for those of you that are on the call, please state your name when you want to speak, request to speak, and then state your name as well. That way we know who is asking the question for the record. Thank you very much. Mr. Daryl Yazi, your response, sir. Good morning. Thank you for the question. Uh, we will also be presenting our slides with a clearer picture of all the, the different entities involved. So the question presented by Mr. Allison, uh, thank you for that. When we get to our presentation, we'll be able to cover that more in depth with the different parties, the different sites, and where we are with the different stages in those processes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yazi, for that. We have another response. Go ahead. Chair Nez, Shea, Elsa Johnson, I'm with US EPA. We have nine, what we call responsible parties that we oversee their work, the assessment of these mine sites, and then the eventual cleanup. And uh, starting from Western, there are uh, um, Wells Fargo, uh, Babbitt Ranch, BP, uh, and Pro, and then we also have um, uh, Titus AMAC, Tronics, and um, uh, I late don't the show. And then, of course, there's some other mine sites too, like. Uh, in Eastern, um, BNFS, uh, Haystack, Chevron, uh, G. Yeah, so <laughs> we have nine we call um, uh, responsible parties. Auto, we have trust mine sites too. That's a special agreement between Navajo Nation and the US government. And they have um, 30 sites. Trust one has 16 sites. So altogether, 523 mine sites, 231 are funded. Thank you, Ms. Johnson. Honorable members of RDC, do you have any comments or questions? Honorable Vice Chair Walker, are you back? Okay, we'll go ahead and move okay. along. Uh, Chairman. Please, go ahead, Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Yes, thank you, Chair, though, committee members, and then everyone that's there at um, Twin Arrows for the work, work session, or everyone on the call. Um, <clears throat> see the um, first opening comments from the uh, presenter, he gave the first presenter. And he uh, mentioned uh, technical information. As, as we all know, um, the uh, information uh, technically being presented uh, comes along with charts and graphs and so forth um, to enhance that uh, Navajo, Navajo language. I just want to mention that. I, I don't think I need um, translation all the way through, but it would be good to, when, when they're talking really technical aspects of the report, to get a translator there. Uh, Mr. George Arthur, he was mentioned as a translator. So it would be helpful to, especially those of us that are on the call and not using Zoom. That's also trying to picture all the information. It would help with the uh, translations. Chairman, thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Um, Cyprus Amex, your interpreter is welcome to provide a rendition 
of what is being discussed today. So if you would like to hand him the microphone, he could expound on some of the discussions that we just went over in Navajo. Mr. George Arthur, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, members of the Resources Committee, and all those in attendance. Uh, uh, Representative Allison Nadef Kidigi, is she a Kuigo Shinshi Ani, a Tata Inne, a Tikompena Nisha de Yoli Higi, Cyprus Amex is just one of the few that AA corner. Underground, uh, Unlaid a hot up. I shouldn't do a Christian. I say, uh, but I have been yet and not if that door, but in the hot hour and the only a ton as the person that has ungot. What are a high con? Uh, been on the Saturday or the Cyprus Amex in the Higgy. The cog. They had a cut eye dog or a quinchagon to the bar, but in the Adoni. She meant I. Um, Sunantai Dida Kui Mat Nehidato Yana Hasnegi. Can you go back to that map there? The Quagi Ben Hichona and that and another East Angi Nerero Yahaji Kona has Agono. The uh, yeah, Sunantai. The map indicates the Cyprus map, Amex, a bit of dead. I call a a company on the state, for example, the not any news, a one site, a Katari, uh, Pikadaholia, Ado, uh, Red Valley, Salchita has Kangun, the cup is nest, and then a Katindo, a Tra, Katasha, a high other, Shetsa, Hada Gado, Kona put up in the mission, the eight. ตัวเอเดเดลตีอดอนเลชัดค่ะขอเลยเลยขัดดินอาสุสิตอีอาดะกตาเอฮะอืมอ่าเบตาอินิชตัวกตาชินอ่าอินดาสค่ะอาดะ
RJ Ruby Mines, while you had a hat no key. Oh, had I had other. Pick a head of Holyado, other a dark cart or Hashin saw a nonish other date. The long the quee gushing lion sinates of her. Could have been a teaching got a dark cart up with a yin da list or hard she could have it. Another had all lynching wins on quite in an untied Donaldson gay corner. Um, yet the engagement, uh, report of Dalje, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. George Arthur, also, could you expound on the legend at the bottom? Thank you. Uh, uh, if you look at the map, uh, okay, 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 uh, they are the Priority a uh, the uh, priority a U M plane. A what I have got a whole year. Then the Bahagi Greg a the regular times and like a. So prioritize the other Hano other dal so gay. That's all holy regions. Uh, according to AUM. Ado, um, the <laughs> Heshi put that in the a with Ishan Dalia, Hano to identify Dalia. Kushila Kehe Arodi, Krobe, and Hilarsen, Nati, Matt begin Hitahos at Sosko, T or Toha Hot Zodo, Hostoha Hot Zodo, so Lake Hot Zogi, put ego a tida, um, uranium fate so Ninigi, Peochigi. A Ajashi, Bananish, but oh, Hashed Eda Hatle, though Kehe. Aro will go ahead and um, Shanant Anna Senegay, honorable members of RDC. Do you have any comments or questions? Honorable Daniels. Mr. Chair, Kehe, Ara Dakoto, Shanat Anna Senegay, Aro Nanakone, Gilia Ho Yahagido Nanako and his Ostaki, Kehe Kodo. Entities. <laughs> Maybe one day, uh, spending one whole day with uh, Mr. Daisy. The So, looking at the, the map here, by, by regions, I don't know, I'm old jet. 
Nagaita at sabi, it's a schedule to. Aro yung ta nagaita ma. Ape si Benas at siya. Nagaita at sabi ta. Nahos at siya. Aro yung ta nagaya at huha ho at sa jil to. Aro na na nagaita. Ile at siya. Chal jo at siya dahas na siya nagaita at siya. Ilo ang Sanders area. Ako o yu ko e. Oh, ada tak berkhati deh. Negeri kita Cyprus Amex. You have one, two, eight, 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 nine, nine sites. But negeri dam, eh, you see kita, just like them. I'm looking at Manama Valley and negeri dam, old Jato area. There's um, there's um, several sites. Oh, there's 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 more, more than six. Oh, there's but um. But there's the, you're, you're mainly focused on the six, yeah. So, ADG. So, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be at Monument Valley, too. We're going to be doing the, the tour as well. In a way, we're going to be going up to Skyline Mine, I don't know, Moonlight, Firelight Mine, I don't know, Monument Number Two, at how cheap they go, yeah, they're quite all little. So, now, I didn't get a chance to add in Chicago. Be be at the the site. So that hot area we get the best chances for now. But we could all agree that the chance we get it on today's presentation, maybe after the presentation, the chances we get the best chances we did. But um, for now, I'll just go and stop the photo that best chance. So now she had the hot 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 today. Thank you, Honorable Daniels. Also, um, Cyprus Amex. If you look at the map. Perhaps what we would like to request from oversight also is the each location of these AUM claims, as well as priority AUM claims, responsible party notified, all those regions. We'd like to know where these little dots are at. So would appreciate um, disclosing that information as far as a list is concerned. Thank you. At then, uh, Chairman. Uh, yes, Honorable Vice Chair Walker, you have the floor. Yes, uh, Chairman, though, committee members, though, uh, the uh, presenters, uh, Mr. Davies, he had mentioned uh, limited control of projects. Limited control of projects. What, what, what does that mean? I guess I'm trying to picture what, what that, that is. I, Probably not a simple answer, uh, but uh, nonetheless, um, it would help us. Like I was saying earlier, I just have my phone. I don't have Zoom, but listening in, trying to listen carefully. You mentioned limit control of projects. What what does that mean, Chair? Thank you, Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Um, Ms. Lagan? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for those questions. One thing I will mention as I go through the presentation, I'll try and point out the mine sites that we talked to. We have some small maps that will show you where they're located um, for a subset of the mines we are working on. Um, with respect to the question of control, uh, the work that we are doing is governed under the CERCLA process or the Superfund process <clears throat> through US EPA and Navajo EPA. As such, we have to coordinate with them very closely in planning the work and executing and reporting the work. So for each part of that process, we submit work plans to the agencies that are then reviewed and approved. And we provide notification for field work that we do. And then once we go out into the field and collect the data and analyze the data, we prepare reports, which are also provided to the agencies for their review and comment. Um, in that process, we are dependent on their review time um, to be able to progress to the next stage of, stage of, the, prog of the process. Thank you. Honorable Vice Chair Walker, do you have a follow-up question?
Uh, Chairman, just just a comment, I guess. Uh, Chairman, committee members, presenters, the um, work that um, that you all do there. Um, I first all the two EPA two agencies, the Navajo and then the federal. Uh, it, I, I guess my thought is on working with agencies, tribal and then federal, this um, complex, um, very complex scenario. I want to ask how that, how well that is or how, how difficult that is. I guess just an idea and um, just just my curiosity tends to lead in that direction when there's um, working with tribal, federal, and then non-government um, parties. And if they're charged with a highly um, difficult um, situation where their coordination, uh, they're, where they're supposed to coordinate uh, efficiently, timely, in costly ways, cost efficient ways, I just tend to think uh, it could be very difficult or very time consuming. I mean, it's an obvious question where I'm headed with this, but I, I guess if someone can speak to the relationship there to give me an idea. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Vice Chair Walker. Any other comments, questions? Um, Ms. Yazi, I'm sorry, Ms. Shirley. Um, Chair, yeah. let me go ahead and try to speak to that as best I can. Um, <clears throat> so just to kind of take two steps back here and lay a little bit of foundation we lay um, 520 plus sites of the Nimigi. They are scattered according to the geology. So, Hagishi, Nihimanasan, Ahut Aldi, Pletsohigi, Hadit, Akon, we lay regions of the Nimigi, a Akwaigi, D. Pletsohigi, the Halo. Akon, in Lede, Hodesh, Yuzna, a Daskiedo, Ahuta Hodza. Ado kune e kwegi um shik e lini e mala kune e kwe. Ado kwegi um kwadesh yuz doho japa na hat ego. Nde um kwegi the Navajo Nation sued um the United States government. A ko a kwegi e um tronic sigi e kwegi ita has ni. Tronic settlement igi e it covers 54 mine sites. And a aj kwaegi is hatet anigi a um a kwaegi um nalto sigi besa ado bekero a d cypress a max a aj um u.s department of justice ye kai nihe d 94 sites igi hat nihila di kwaegi the nebeke yahagi a hut al no ata hold ne. A ko a kwaegi consent decree will yenigi a kwaegi sitos. A ko d consent decree dabadi nenigi a US EPA a yisig des e. Ado nehi a d kwaja Navajo Nation a supporting agency na halo hot albik that neat e. A ko nle na anisha a el sahigi a miss lagged in yahold na nle um. How late on that the kata no hut al nag so sigi ye had they be that's a work plan or a scope of work that's a had them e a ade a nehi kwaja us epa don navajo epa nehi nehi um nehi ah a kwa eki ah anazago hanjish lay di um work plan digi da da anigi satin lay um 200 pages got the ahut al so comment a US EPA don't have how EPA 
party Ado ade eni hiche na ini. Di comets quaegi da laigi e quaegi e da bohone adala. Ado quaegi e abira quaegin da si kao e o ani abira tole. Miko hot ah. So there is a lot of coordination. Di al um di nato sigi il tanda di aho. Ana zago o halchish. So um ado bikedo e di um cypress a max. Asa ade ya responsible party it's a bikedo eight o ha you hani de responsible parties. Ado de responsible parties a bit miniki a a be asa ago de nal to siki bena behas a or benaz a to settlements to administrative order consent da hut a da bisha o hut a benaz a. So I hope that um, answers some of the questions, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Shirley. Thank you. As we go down the PowerPoint presentation, we'll get to an area where it talks about consent decree. So would appreciate that. At this time, we'd like to move forward on the presentation. So uh, Ms. Lagan, you're welcome to go forward now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out in telling you what's been done <clears throat> for the 94 mine sites that we're responsible for is to point out the previous work by Navajo abandoned mine lands. Many of the nine of the 94 mine sites that we work on, they did reclamation work in the 1990s and 2000s that included such things as closing hazardous mine openings that may have prevented or may have presented physical hazards. They backfilled rem strips and waste pits um, and consolidated and capped many areas of exposed waste rock. Um, during the latter phases of, these work, of this work, many of these capped cells were engineered to promote long-term stability. And AML did an excellent job of blending these features into the natural environment. So that's often impossible to tell them from natural features at some of these mine sites. Our preliminary evaluation of the work uh, um, in the most recent few years of this AML work indicates that these reclamation features are holding up very well. Some maintenance is necessary on areas that may be more prone to erosion, like steep cliffs, but other features that are located on flat or near flat ground are um, maintaining very well and may only need monitoring long-term. So in talking about the 94 mine sites, let me help you understand first where they are. Um, we mentioned the two ruby mines. Those are two mine, it's actually a complex of four mine sites. Two of them were underground. Um, they are in the Smith Lake chapter of Eastern Agency. Um, and we began with them first under an agreed order and consent in 2012. Uh, we did the assessment from 2012 through 2015 in cooperation with US EPA and Navajo EPA and completed the RSC work, as we call it, that's the assessment portion of the work, in 2016. At that time, we entered into an additional agreed order on consent with the Navajo Nation and the US government to do an engineering and evaluation and cost analysis. Uh, which is basically a feasibility study. We're looking at different alternatives for cleaning up these mine sites. Um, and it's really the first time we've done that at these mine sites. So we see Ruby Mines as being a template for where we can move with our other mine sites. And they really set the foundation for the work at the remainder of the 92 mine sites. So as we mentioned, the consent decree for the 94 mine sites, because the Ruby mines will roll up into that consent decree once the ECA is complete, 
was signed in 2017. Um, we quickly realized that moving headfirst into evaluating 94 mine sites um, may, may propose a bit of a logistical challenge. So we divided up the mine sites into three groups of roughly 30 mine sites each. And we refer to them as group one, two, and three. Group one mine sites were set based on that priority designation um, that was set uh, very early on in the, in the uh, AUM process on Navajo, uh, indicating that those mines may have had elevated gamma scan readings or radiological readings during preliminary work at the mine sites, or they may be located near to a residence. So all of our priority mine sites are in group one. Currently at group one mine sites, we have um, secured access agreements to those mine sites. So for each mine site that we work at, uh, Liddell works with our grazing officials to understand permit holders, grading permit holders, home site lease holders, and we talk to those residents to ensure that they know what we're doing and agree to that. Whenever we're in the field, we also provide notification to those people so they understand that we're out and about. Um, before we get out into the field to do the formal part of field work, we also coordinate with uh, Navajo Historic Preservation Department and Navajo Fish and Wildlife to perform resource surveys at any of the areas we work. These include um, cultural uh, surveys of the areas and biological assessments of sensitive species. At some of the mine sites, and I'll talk a little bit about this, we need to do some interim actions. Um, that may include putting up fences around areas that may pose an immediate hazard or putting signs to warn people of areas that they need to stay away from. But for the group one mine sites, we've completed all of those things and we've completed our field investigation. That field investigation begins with a review of tens to thousands of documents, uh, such as historical minor mining records, Bureau of Mining Health and Safety Inspection reports from when mining occurred, technical specifications from AML, their reclamation records, and also other general literature that's in the public domain. We submit work plans and field sampling plans for Navajo and EPA review and approval. And once we're in the field, our investigation is very intensive and comprehensive. The first thing we do is identify background areas, which will allow us to, to be able to distinguish those areas that have had impacts from historical mining activities and those areas that may have naturally high levels of radiation and metals that are unrelated to historical mining practices. Um, when we get on these mine sites, dependent on how large the mine site is, we may have teams up to five to 10 people out there for weeks to months. We walk over every area of these mine sites doing radiological scans, surface and subsurface soil sampling, and in some cases, surface and groundwater sampling. Once we've done that, we submit reports back to the agency for review. So just to show you on this slide, for the group one mine sites, we've completed all the field work part of that process, and we are currently in the reporting stage. Our, our group two mine sites are a group of 33 mine sites that are located in the Red Valley chapter. Uh, we unfortunately got delayed getting into the field because of the COVID pandemic. We were literally scheduled to go about two weeks after uh, everything shut down, so we had to delay that work. Uh, we are starting to get back out into the field now, um, and we uh, have a lot of gratitude to Navajo EPA for issuing our mission critical status that has allowed us to get back into the field. Uh, we look forward to doing some of our preliminary work at the Group 2 mine sites once we get approval of the work plan, hopefully later this summer into the fall. Once we start that, uh, depending on um, different things, that work may take up to a year to two to complete because there's different phases of the work. 
And lastly, our group three mind sites, we're just starting the process there. We're making sure that we are in touch with the residents that are near those mine sites so that they understand what we're doing and can sign the access agreements that we need to get into those locations. I also just wanna mention on this slide one thing, um, and we'll get to the consent decree later, but this slide provides a very good um, graphic that shows you the holistic way that this consent decree was written. Typically, when you have an agreed order on consent, which is what a lot of um, work in the environmental realm is done under, it's done under this agreed order of consent, which is kind of one phase. You get a, a, a what we call an AOC to do one little bit of the process. Uh, but we recognized in negotiating the consent decree that it would be quicker and faster to have a document that allows us to work through the entire Superfund process. So this document is really a cradle to grave thing and will govern us in all of the work we do on Navajo through decision making on whatever alternative is chosen into cleanup and eventually operations and maintenance of any remedy that is implemented. Thank you. <laughs> we'll go to your interpreter who's gladly ready to provide his rendition here. George? <laughs> well, that's a lot. I see, I see, the nasty, you know, I have to be seeing it. The, um, the core, the car, so as you don't look at it, uh, the hoggy, uh, a hasil tosi nanis dahlia. Tago atzago. A bachota. The nasta tindo a di kunaza, she a kujeshe toha didn't a di 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 Group one, or group two, or group three. Uh, yeah, I'll say, I think Ishin <laughs> 
دهن دست کنه بود که با کهان زنگی ایشی تو دالیا که ایبن نتر ایی های نانیش آداهای تاگو به هدیت ایگو ای این دات آنیشی هنچان هم صاحب آگودا این دست رو دالیا آدکت دی گروپ وان گروپ وان دو گروپ تو نکیون آسان دو نکیون هم دست جاگه ای کد نچ نچ کدولیش دو هیچ آیه ها هیچ صحبت از پهادت دیگه ای هیچ آیه نچ کو کو کدولیش نوشی کبایت اتش لانگوشی لانگوشی Di ada hal yang lain kerana benda asnis di kuda dah hantar lagi ke Washington je aja berkhidmat dengan USPS, USPA, United States Environment Office. Jadi aja kita aja nak nis ada kerja hal china. อ่าชาติอาจจะเป็นอะไรเสียดายอยู่ที่เกิดขึ้นไอ้ปอไอ้เสียดายเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็ดเด็
chairman I do have another uh, question just for you and what uh do you got group one group two oh the uh in the uh, previous uh in the previous uh, uh, uh oversight the key uh, of this agreement uh the priority the us epa though um in an epa the us epa short con has touched off or are they online? I apologize for those of you that uh, identified yourself earlier who's here or who's online. I mean, the Yahash for the store. So, it is a stop, Joey did there the oversight to know your yes, 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 uh, somehow confirm of all these um, the, the the report that we're getting a koko a kwaagigi um the other one in the uh, uh, PR that I sent to you back in 2017 because I believe I don't know. I mean, just like the men Linigi, how much more uh, longer are we going to have this particular situation on the Navajo Nation? Uh, thank you, Honorable Piquet. We'll pause here for a moment and we'll turn the floor over to US EPA and provide a summary of the overview as to how you all work together. ยาเอ่อต่อเชียร์เชียร์เอลซ์จอห์นสันนิชเยียร์ยูเอสอีพีเอบานาชนิชอาร์โรดีเอียร์ชนานิชเยียร์อินเลย์อ่าอ่าอ
hini nani machit a ya kayachi ini e de e ya ta e ya benache a e ya di hate di la sili e di pizzo di the removal site evaluation report igi the hini ne aro kone da na di da le engineering evaluation cost analysis e e ya hohochi di the not Kaiki do the Navajo specific risk assessment. Kone na e bahato data, so e a hesne, e kapiti, nan he engineering evaluation cost analysis. E ado da na di ke, ado e e ya public comment, it never na da huitne. Ado kone action memorandum. Da huel juish a kwa, lache e 94 mine site. Group one is for report Group two, the Ainle Red Valley, the Ashe Nana Nada, Ms. Johnson, thank you very much for that. Kuroshi, um, do we have the NE Uranium Remediation Advisory Commission here? We don't have any commissioners here with us. Are you on the commission, Ms. Shirley? I am, sir, yes. Okay, but, but we're looking for the other commissioners, but you're already under EPA. Of the Navajo Nation, Quela to Nestoya Navajo Nation Uranium Commission at Hanleyashma Hakoshila. So we have identified two here, and Mr. Yazi, three, as well as Quela to Yadalchi. Please raise your hand. Who's on the commission? Thank you, Mr. Daisy. Ayunda no and on Haso Tala Ayron Kehozanda. So that was the question raised by one of our colleagues. Kosh Nahaz. Are they here? Diego Nikitet Do Hehen Hano Ajigi, Horina, Shin Hahuidesh, Atkoro, Dik Adel Togo, Adon Data. So we have one, two, three, four. Dean Koron Hitnahas, Taron Hit Trustees, A Koro George, Dol Lester is here with us today. A Heha, Ara USP EPA is here as well. So Heha, Ache Hakoro, I'm a Shirley. Make it brief, thank you. Yes, sir. Um, Chair, I did wanna to mention to, um, to respond to the Diné Uranium Remediation Advisory Committee. The legislation that sponsored that um, committee, it actually sunset last fiscal year. But you restate that, Ms. Shirley? So um, what established uh, take off your mask so we can hear you. Sure. Um, so the legislation that that sponsored the Diné Uranium Remediation Advisory Committee sunset September 30th, 2021. So right now the commissioners have not been meeting and what enacted the commissioners to act as a commission, it, it's no longer there, sir. So all of them, according to that legislation, pretty much. So like for instance, Ms. May Franklin, her term was for a certain time and then everybody's terms ended September. Has anybody requested a legislation to renew? Um, I don't know if Ms. Nona Bahajoni had a chance to, to renew that legislation but that hasn't happened. Is Bahajoni here? Executive Director? Um, Khalid, oh, Lalatida. Uranium Commission, Hodlan Bitsampe, in Allah. I think we need to 
have one of our colleagues drop a legislation to have that renewed. This is a very important topic and we, we shouldn't find out today like this. We should have known at least six months prior to tell us that it's coming close to sunset. Um, Honorable members of RDC. Nan, Hakushila, we'll go ahead and Mr. Tiernes. Back to um, Representative Allison, is that you? Yes, Mr. Chair, this is Representative Allison. Um, in the 2022 regular session, I introduced a legislation, or I was a co sponsor to a legislation, House Bill 164, and uh, the title on that legislation is directing the Department of the Environment to coordinate efforts across the state to clean up and reclaim former uranium mine and mill sites. Okay, that's the title of our legislation. But my question is, is, um, this entity or Cypress AMAX and the US EPA, are they working with the various state organizations? Like for example, New Mexico Environment Department, ADG, they were authorized to coordinate this cleanup activity. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no redundancy in uh, getting some of the remediations. Uh, also, uh, I'm not going to be here all day, but uh, I would like to get a name of contacts and the phone numbers and other uh, contact information so I can continue working on this project. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Representative Allison. The legislation saw you're talking about a state of New Mexico, right? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, the state of New Mexico, the governor signed this into law uh, in the past month. It is House Bill 164. I was a co sponsor on that with uh, Representative Deborah Serignano. Okay, thank you. What we were referring to is to have the Dene Uranium Remediation Advisory Commission but I'll refer the other part of your question to uh, Cypress Amex. Um, yes, if I understand the question is, um, what involvement does the state of New Mexico have in the work we're doing? Um, the consent decree that we signed was between uh, the US government and the Navajo Nation. So as we understand, um, that is a relationship and a responsibility that we have with those two entities. And we recognize the sovereignty of the nation and have been working through both US EPA and Navajo EPA to complete that work. Um, at this point, I'll tell you some of the mine sites that are located in New Mexico, such as the Ruby Mines during operation was overseen by the state of New Mexico um, in the late 1970s and 80s. But the remediation that we've been doing in the past decade has purely between been between um, the US government, the Navajo Nation and Cypress Amex and Western Nuclear. Thank you very much, Ms. Lagan. I believe lunch will be on your own. Therefore, we're going to recess for one hour. New Mexico time is now 12 o'clock. So we'll come back at 1 o'clock, which would be 12 o'clock Arizona time. So we'll take a one-hour break for lunch. We'll call, call back in, uh, those of you that are on the call.